హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ మై సెల్ సౌమ్య అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఇన్ సిఎస్ ఇమెయిల్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఎంఎల్ఆర్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ జే క్వెరీ అనిమేషన్స్ సో కమింగ్ టు ద ఓవర్వ్యూ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ప్రెసెంటేషన్ సో దిస్ వీడియో కవర్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ మీన్ బై ఆన్ అనిమేట్ మెథడ్ సో హౌ టు పర్ఫామ్ జే క్వెరీ అనిమేషన్స్ వీ విల్ ఆల్సో సీ సమ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ అప్లికేషన్స్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ అనిమేట్ మెథడ్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద యూస్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ so to create custom animations in jquery we are using a method called animate method and coming to the syntax of this animate method we know in jquery to use any uh, action uh, first we need to select the element and the syntax of this jquery is dollar of selector so on a particular selected element we are going to apply the action so what is the action you are applying here animate animate is our action now so animate so what are the parameters animate will take so within the parentheses i am writing params speed and call back so these are the three parameters animate function will take so what is the first parameter params the required params parameter defines the css properties to be animated so animation in the sense we are uh, doing some animations right so whether you are increasing the size whether you are moving the object uh, whether you are changing the background color of that image something like that you are doing some animations all the css styles you need to provide in the first parameter within the curl braces so uh, here we may have multiple uh, parameters in the sense multiple things you may change i may change height and width at a time i may change the color and uh, size font size at a time right so multiple parameters will be passed within this curl braces and coming to the second one the speed so what is the second parameter speed speed parameter so it specifies the duration of that effect so how much time you want to apply that effect animation effect so here we have three possible values slow fast or milliseconds how many milliseconds you want to apply that and the last one is callback after performing this animation function what should happen so this callback parameter will be executed so generally it will be a function so it will be executed after the animation completes after completing the animation what you want to do so if you want to execute any particular function that function name i can write as a the third parameter but the third parameter and the second parameter these two are optional so we'll take one example here to perform that animations we know this is common for all the jquery programs so the statement indicates jquery library you are including from the internet that is cdn content delivery network so now i'm applying the jquery code here within the script tag so when i want to apply this jquery tag i mean jquery code so dollar document ready so whenever a document is ready i want to execute this function what does this function so this function is doing whenever you click on a button so we are going to create a button whenever you click on that button so we are going to apply some animations so to perform that animations i am calling the function animate but on which element we are applying this animate div tag so for div tag you are applying animate so what are the animations you are performing using this animate function see we have three parameters in the animate function the first parameter is params that will be specified within the curl braces so within the curl braces i have only one parameter i mean i am specifying only a one particular style so what you are doing here from left move 250 pixels so whenever you click on this button so that division that particular division should move towards i mean like from left 250 pixels right so that is the animation you are doing here so when you are going to apply this animation whenever you click on the button so that we need to create in the body section so in the body section first i am creating a button right so what is this button start animation the button name is uh, start animation whenever you click on this button the division a particular division should be moved right from left to right direction but what is that division first i need to create that division so before that i'm just creating a paragraph to understand this program right so by default all html elements have a static position and cannot be moved if it is a normal html element that cannot be moved to manipulate the position remember the first set the css position property of the element to relative fixed and absolute right so first we need to set some css properties uh, to move that element right so we are making a division here so using division tag i'm creating a division so for this division i'm creating some style so what is the style you are applying the background color is #98bf21 so with this hash code a color will be there like uh, we can also give red blue yellow whatever the color you want you can give in a text also otherwise you can use this predefined colors and the height of the division will be 
100 pixels and the width of the division is 100 pixels and the position is absolute. Absolute is the normal position. So, from left it will take the position. So, whether you want to, uh, I mean, place that position relatively uh, in the middle or left, right like that, you can give absolute in the sense it will be in the left. So, by default, a division will be created with 100 pixels height and 100 pixels width with the specified color. Uh, consider maybe it might be blue, right? So, with that color, a division will be created and it will be placed in the absolute position. So, now whenever I click on this button, this division should move um, from left. How, ma how many pixels it should move? Two for 250 pixels positions, it, mo it should move. So, this is the output I will get. So, this is the division I am getting. So, this is the button I am getting. So, this division is having 100 pixels height and 100 pixels width right and this is the color we have provided using id so green color right whenever you click on this button it should move in this direction how many pixels it should move 250 pixels it should move so we'll try to execute this program So, a division has been created. Now, if I click on the stat animation, see so it is moving from left to right. I mean, from left it is moving 250 pixels. So, now if I change this 250 pixel to some 500 pixels, then it will move still more. So, this is the initial output I will get. If I click on this button, so it is moving towards, I mean from left to right it will move. How many pixels positions it will move? 500 pixels position it will move. So, another example we are taking um, and here this is common for all the jQuery programs to include the library file. And here I want to execute this code whenever document is ready. Whenever you click on the button, I am just applying the animate function for the division, the same as the previous one. But now, in animations, what you are doing? So, from left, it should move towards right, 250 pixels position, it should move. At the same time, the height and width of this division also you are changing. So, initially, you are giving 100 pixels width and 100 pixels height. But whenever you click on this button, the height and width value will be changed to 150 pixels and 150 pixels respectively. And it will also move from left to right in 250 pixels distance. So, now here are the same previous program, I am just creating a button, this is for understanding purpose and here I am creating a division with some background color with height is 100 pixels and width is 100 pixels and the position is absolute position. So, now this is the output I will get. So, whenever you click on this button, this, this object, I mean this division will move towards right direction. But while moving towards right direction, it will also increase its size in terms of width and height. So, we'll try to execute this code. So, by default, I am getting this output. If I click on this start animation, so it is moving to 56 pixels position from left to right. So, while moving, it is changing its height and width also. Why? Because you are applying multiple parameters. You are giving multiple parameters in the animate function. So, you are changing the height, you are changing the width as well as you are giving the uh, position to move also. So, from left to right, it should move to 50 pixels. So, we have another example for animate function. We have different like uh, the first program we have given only one uh, one parameter. I mean like uh, for animate function we have given only one parameter. In the second one we have given three. So, now we will see this example animate queue functionality. So, now it is common for all the programs 
to include the jquery library and now whenever your document is ready i want to apply this logic so whenever your document is ready so i'm just clicking on this button whenever you click on this button so you are creating a division see here var div i'm creating a variable for this division div so dollar of div right so what is this division div variable value is dollar of division so why i'm creating like this every time instead of writing this dollar of div dollar of div i'm just assigning this value to a variable called div so for this div i want to apply animate function so here in the previous two programs we have applied animate function only once but now here we are applying the same animate function for four times see div dot animate so in the first animate function what you are doing you are changing the height to 300 pixels and opacity is 0.4 that means like the uh, percentage of visibility right so 100% of like if i give 1.0 here 100% of visibility it will be in bright color so if i give 0.4 then it will be in light color like dim color right so and you are giving uh, this is the first parameter and this is the second parameter that is speed so how much speed you want to i mean like uh, what speed you want to apply for this animation slow so slowly it should increase the height so, so this is the first animation you are applying and coming to the second animation slowly it should increase the width to 300 pixels and the next height should decrease to 100 pixels and slowly right and next width should decrease to 100 pixels and slowly and opacity value right so opacity value in the sense the div like how much um, percentage of color it should appear right so by seeing the output we will be uh, like you will be understanding right these are the four functions you are applying so one by one it will apply so first you are modifying the height next width and again height and again width so first it should increase the height and then increase the width and decrease the height and decrease the width also and coming to the body section i'm just creating a button paragraph for understanding purpose and then i'm creating a division with the same code so style i'm giving as the background color is this color height is initial height is 100 pixels initial width is 100 pixels and the position is absolute so now again the initial output is this only but if i click on this uh, button so this will uh, like what happens we will see so it will not change the position why because i didn't give the code like that it is just changing its height and width whenever you click on the button right so how it will change first it will increase the height and then it will increase the width and it will decrease the height and it will decrease the width also we'll try to execute it So this is the initial output I am getting. If I click on the button, see height it is increasing, then width, then again decreasing the height and again decreasing the width also. And you can observe the opacity value also. That means like it is uh, becoming bright and it is becoming light also, right? So again I am clicking on it, you can observe, right? So first it is increasing the height and then it is decrease, increasing the width also and then decreasing the height and decreasing the width also we have given slow right so here the animation queue functionality text so it is similar to the previous program but here you are also including the text value so now this is common for all the programs then whenever your document is ready and whenever you click on this button you are creating a division so that div tag i am taking in a variable called div so for this div tag, I'm applying the animate function for two times. So in the first function, it is moving from left to right, 100 pixels position, slowly it is moving. And then while moving, you are applying this, you are changing the font size to 3 centimeters. So while moving, it is moving from left to right, 100 pixels. While moving, you are also applying another animation. You're changing the font size to 3 centimeters. And slowly you are changing. And now here in the body section, we have created a button and the paragraph is for understanding the program and I'm creating a division with the style. This is the background color of the division. Height is 100 pixels, width is 200 pixels and the position is 
absolute and along with that uh, for this division you are also giving one message hello so in that division hello message will be displayed so initially it will take some normal font size but whenever you click on the button the font size will be increased to 3 cm and it will also um, move from left to right so this is the output i'll get this is the initial output uh, this division is created 200 pixels width and 100 pixels height and in this the text is hello it is display if i click on this button uh, it will not change its uh, what we call height and width it will simply change its position it will move towards right direction 100 pixels and at the same time it will also increase the size of this hello we will see the output by executing this program So, this is the initial output I am getting. I am getting a division with the text hello. Now, if I click on this button, it should move towards right direction. While moving, it should increase the size of the text also. See, after moving, it is also increasing the size of the text to 3 centimeters. Hello. In this PPT, we have seen uh, animate method with different syntaxes and with different examples also. Thank you.